Hello everyone. Thank you for joining Remote Sensing and JS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to monitor the active volcanism or how to visualize the volcanism using the Sentinel-2 satellite imagery. So this is the Mount Etna volcano. Okay. So Mount Etna is one of the world's most active volcanoes. The volcano was a very active during the month of February and March in 2021. So we'll visualize this using the Sentinel-2 image, how we can able to do these things that we'll see today. To download the Sentinel-2 data, you can visit Open Access, Copernicus Open Access Hub. So when you will search here, the Open Access Hub website is there, where you can able to download the Sentinel-2 data sets. So I have already prepared a video on it, how we can able to download the Sentinel-2 data set. So I'll share the link with you. Also, you can able to download this from the USGS Earth Explorer. So when you'll go to USGS Earth Explorer, so just click on the USGS Earth Explorer. So after that, you need to search the place where you want to download. Suppose you want to download it for the Etna. And just search here, just click on the show option. So just you will see this is the Etna volcano here. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to select an area here like this. I will select the area. Okay. After selecting the area, we just need to select a particular date. So this Etna volcanism is very active during the February and March. So let I will select the 2021. And this is in February and I will select the 26 February and here also I will select the 2021 February and 28. So just click on the data set and select the data set as a Sentinel 2. So click on OK and click on result. So you will see this tiles is there on 28. So just click on the tiles you will see the how much area it is covering okay so if you'll see the metadata you can check the information about metadata so this is the actually it is taken at what time the all the information is given so this is the for 2021 second month is february and 28 is the date is given and the time is also they have given at what time they have taken so all the information is given there so if you want to download this so just need to click on the download option is there. Once you'll click the file will download from here. Okay. So we, you need to download this L1C tiles. Okay. So when you will click, it will download below. Another way you can download it from the, this, this website where you need to search for your place. And uh, after that, I will share the link in the description box where you can able to easily download the Sentinel-2 data sets. So after that, when you will download this data set, you just need to go to the file here. Okay. So like this, you will get. So here I have already downloaded the data set. So just right click and extract the file. So once you will extract the file, you will get this tiles there. Okay. In the Sentinel. So just click on the granules, then this L1C and image data. Okay, you will see all these bands are there. Okay, B1, B2, B3, like this, there are bands. So what we need to do, we just need to select the path and I need to go to the file where I'm working. So I'll just click on this and so this is the two tiles we have downloaded. So these are the tiles where we need to combine all these tiles we need to combine. So just click on the R toolbox. So in the R toolbox, there is a data management tool. In the data management tool, there is a raster. In the raster, there is a raster processing and composite band option is there. Okay. So this band one by one we can add here okay if we'll add one by one band here so that one by one also we can able to add band so if you'll see this is the band composite and these are mostly 
you can't able to interpret from this single band so we need to combine all the bands to visualize the volcano so if i'm going to add one by one it will take time so what you can able to do as we are already uh, click here on the band composite okay so just click here browse option and from here we need to go to our file where we are working and just select all the all this by using the shift key okay just click on the add all the tiles i have selected and i'm adding here in the input raster and after adding it you can provide your output location where you want to save it so let i'll save here composite test one dot tiff and just click on okay okay so this way what you can able to do you can create a band composite here what i have already created so this way you can able to create a band composite and in this you can able to visualize the thing so let you need to go to properties in the pop properties we can just change the band okay so if i'll select the band band here like uh, band 8 then band 4 and band 3 okay so apply and okay so we'll you can't able to see the active volcanism here using the band 843 so if you know what is the band actually so you just go to google and just search it here the band composite of sentinel 2 okay so in this imagery you will able to see so there are total bands is showing here 12 okay so band 2 is blue band 3 is green band 4 is red and the resolution is 10 meter and this band number is 8 so if we'll do band 843 we could not able to interpret very sharply where there is a volcano or not okay so we'll try another band composite then let i will try band 4 8 band 12 8 and 4 okay band 12 then 8 and 4 okay apply okay so now we can able to visualize properly here in this band so like this we need to change the band combination and after changing the band combination we can visualize a volcano very easily so these are the clouds okay these white whites are clouds and all the informations are there you can able to interpret like you just need to change the band combination and you just changing the band combination you just try to visualize the thing so which band combination is giving the good information so for that you just visit to this your browser factor okay so sentinel hub your browser factory is there so what you can able to do you just need to go to google and or just search there sentinel hub your browser so just click on the sentinel hub your browser so in this your browser we just need to search a place so i will search itna and click here okay so this is the itna and here what we need to do we just need to click on the search so you can visualize the tiles from here and i want a particular date so i'll go to select a date like february 2021 and 28 february okay so this date i want so you'll see this is the true color composite 432 we can't able to visualize anything so the 2432 is a band where you can able to read the information is given here so after that if i'll select the band 843 then also it is not very clear where is the current active volcano also if we'll select this uh, uh, let i will select this 12 11 and 4 here we can able to see the this is the current uh, active volcano is here okay 
So this way we just need to change the band and if we'll change the band, we can able to see the information where there is active volcano. And also if we'll change other band, like we have selected 12, eight and four here also we can able to interpret. So like this, you just need to check all the class. If you'll we'll click on the classification, you will able to see the classification. So here you can interpret that this color is showing here what it is. It is a snow or ice. Okay. So this white is there. That is a cloud. Then this blue is there. There is a water. Okay. So these are the vegetations and this way we can able to interpret the things are mostly. So like this, we just need to search the band here. So if you'll we'll search here already band composite is given there. If you want, you can able to download and you can create a band composite and you can visualize the volcano. So at what direction it is moving that also you can able to see at what latitude they are moving. You can able to see the information is given here. So if you'll we'll see, this is the uh, latitude longitude showing that place. Okay. And what, uh, what date they have taken, what time they have taken all the information is given there. So uh, accordingly that you can monitor the volcanic activity using the Sentinel two data set. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections and our telegram group link is given in the description box. If you are interested, you can join. Thank you.